Now I can say we're a good friend. <laughs> Felipe, sorry for what I'm going to say now, but... <laughs> was a little bit different than I expected. No, wait. I go there, I start training, and we, we train jiu-jitsu, and I do good, and then Felipe jumps in, and I'm like, okay, let's roll. Okay. And I'm rolling with, with Felipe, right? And I choke him. Oh! Hey, what's up, guys? Rafael Cordeiro, this is the OG Talk Podcast. Today, inside the Octagon. I had a pleasure to train a kid for six years. This kid changed his life. And when he came to the United States, so I saw his eyes. The kid one day is going to be a champ. He came to the gym, worked hard. He was one of the best. Uh, worked hard with one of the best guys that we have back in the days in the gym. And after one camp, he back to Italy. And then he moved his life. After then... Just great results, just, you know, his life changed. Not just his life, but our life as well. Because he brought something different to the gym. He brought fire in the eyes. And today I have a pleasure to talk with the, probably the first UFC champ from Italy. Our boy, Marvin Vettori. Hey. Hey. Thank you, Master. Such a great introduction. <laughs> but it's, uh, everything is so true. You know, like uh, I came here, uh, it was crazy because I came here for like a week uh, for to do the camp for a jiu-jitsu competition. Back then I was still in London and um, I met Babalu at Cabrinha's and, uh, and he was showing some technique and then I got to know him and he's like, you know, like if you, if you, if you want to do MMA, then you should go to King's MMA. And then uh, I remember, you know, you remember Luis Tosta? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he was my jiu-jitsu coach in London. And we came here for a week. We got an RV. We were, s <laughs> we were sleeping in the RV outside of Cabrini's gym. And I met Babalu there. And then I came here. And uh, no, and then, and, then, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, good. Uh, you know, I'm going to think about it. And then uh, went back to London. Stayed another year in London or w maybe a little bit less, like 10 months or so. Went back to Italy. Fought in in the Venator, won the Venator championship, and then the, the belt, and then they gave me a good opponent, and, and it was Jack Mason, and I'm like, man, you know, I think I gotta step it up, I gotta step it up, and then um, I came here, I came here, and um, and I wanted to train here, but I didn't know the how 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 much was the cost of living <laughs> out here. I was I, I was I did not know. I had not much money, I, but I remember that I. I, I I did 10,000 euro for that tournament. And for the time, it was big money. And like still till now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm like, I was willing to spend them all for, to, to train out here for the camp. And then I come here and, uh, you know, my, I came over here with Manuela. He's like my childhood Manuel friend. Kickboxing. Yeah. Excellent kickboxing. Yeah. But he was my uh, uh, co conditioning coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the first time back then, and then uh, I was like, um, he, his uh, his auntie was supposed to keep us at his house, our house, uh, his house for like a two weeks, and then actually that didn't happen. They kicked us out in like two three days, and then I was uh, at a McDonald's close here for like two days, like trying to get the Wi-Fi, and then um, and then I ended up. Oh, that's a, that's a funny story. That's such a funny story because since. They kicked us out, basically. They, they, like, his auntie kicked us out, but I, I was like, I still have to train. So we end up, we just looked up, and I'm like, what are, what? because we were in Pasadena, and so we're like, what is that gym? Far here, at least 45 minutes one hour. Yes, and so we looked up, and we're like, what a kind of a gym we could go to? And we found that uh, Verdum had a, like, Verdum had a gym there. So I go there, I go there, <laughs> and uh, I train with, the, and I found Felipe. Uh-huh. And I started training with Felipe, and now I can say we're a good friend. <laughs> Felipe, sorry for what I'm going to say now, but... <laughs> I was a little bit different than I expected. No, wait. I go there, I start training, and we, we train jiu-jitsu, and I do good. And then Felipe jumps in, and I'm like, okay, let's roll. Okay. And I'm rolling with, with Felipe, right? And I choke him. Oh! I, I get him. He deserves <laughs> Sorry, Felipe. Uh, well, but I good. remember, and I remember my well, looking can say, like, thank you, Felipe, for our help. Yeah. Or we appreciate that. You thank know? you, Felipe. <laughs> and so um, that was the first time that I trained out here in, uh, in California. And then, uh, and then thanks to Jason Manley at the time, he just got us, got us up. And, like, we were at the McDonald's. I 
picked us up and he st we stayed with him. And then we started coming here on a Friday, and then eventually the, the time after, then I, you know, I, we got some contact, and I, and, and I kind of understand the life he, here more. And then uh, next time I got an Airbnb, and, and then since then, like, I've stayed here. Yeah, if people think that, uh, okay, I'm going to move to California, it's going to be easy. It's not easy. You know that. You came from Europe. Italy is a, such an amazing country, and uh, people come educated from that. You know, knowing that have to work hard in the United States, no simple like that. It's no simple. It's still until now. Oh. You have, a f you takes a lot. You made your career oh. inside UFC. It was no simple. Like mm -hmm. it was no simple. Yeah, you start your career moving to London to f fight with good yeah. fights. Yeah. And uh, train with good fighters, and now we are here. So, what I can say about you, you are a, for us, for a great addition for us. Why you brought something? Then you're always looking for for a. You never ask me nothing about your opponents. You just always the same answer when I, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. Are you re ready to go? I'm ready to go. You're gonna fight against this guy now. Okay, maybe you have a chance to fight against this guy a little bit better ranking, but okay, let's fight against this guy. When you come with that kind of desire, for sure the results come. The results come for you, Marvin, because what I can see inside, you work hard every single day here. The guys push yourself push you as much as they can as well. In the end of the day, the results come. Yeah. Now, I, I remember when I when I stepped in here, it was the energy was just different. And one of the things that surprised me was like, I, you know, sometimes you walk into gyms, but you, you see some guys training with the normal classes, some other guys training in private training, some other guys doing their own things with some other guys. And it's not, here is definitely not like that. You walk in and, everybody's on the everybody's on the mat with everybody there's no excuses everybody works hard and uh and that's it you sometimes you get in in in, in hard situation in the gyms too like i remember you know like you know i was doing good with some guys and like okay go with Verdum. and then you know that was the story of 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 my life for a while yeah, and man. but that made me that made Who me what are? i am today yeah exactly and uh i realized man like if i don't get stronger the situation is not getting is getting any easier, so I have to I have to level up. For your family, I, for example, Marvin, when you say, "Okay, I want to be a fighter," and I have to move from Italy, what they say? They support you. It was crazy because, like I said, I was I come from a small town, five thousand village town. People didn't even What's know. What's the name? The city name? Mezzo Corona. Mezzo Corona. And uh, it was just it was just me that got like so fascinated but like i remember like i remember fader if if you at the top of my head if you tell me like who are the two fighters that got you got you like crazy about mma i remember fader and i remember wanderlei silva hey <laughs> two good inspiration <laughs> i remember one silva i remember watching that uh uh right. that video of like what, there was like a highlights video of, of, of him training and obviously mm -hmm. all these knockouts and stuff i'm like this guy is a superhuman. I want to be like him. He's like, hey, he's like mean. That. Yeah. Oh, like man. And then the opposite, like, you know, both uh -huh. G's, but in a different way. Different ways. Fader, like mm -hmm. calm, cold, cold, cold no like emotion, ice cold, no emotion. And uh, yeah, man, I, I can't I, tell you a perfect mix of both. Because in the gym, sometimes I have to say, "Marv, we're done for today. Can I do just two more rounds with those guys?" <laughs> and uh, what I can tell. The examples you have to figure out as examples in life, and we have to surround ourselves with good people all the time, because you know in the end of the day they're gonna push as much as we can. We have a lot of situations here, then that make us so strong, because we have good people around to help. Like you say, the class, the guys gonna push you 100%. Fabrizio gonna try knock you out, the same way we try knocking out as well. Be you guys become the best partners in the gym, brothers. Like brothers, they. You know, they got an argument, they push each other, they kick each other. But at the end of the day, they love each other because they push each other. If you got here today, and uh, because you have a guy like Fabrice to push, if you have Fabrice, the position that he have today because you have a guy like you to push himself. Is this important? Because in the end of the day, when you have a victory, it's our victory. But if you have defeat, it's our defeat as well. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, this is a place where you, you it just, 
it's just there for everybody that like everybody can grow here like er, there's like room for growth and yeah. all the time yeah. there's like you will never hit a you will ne you will never hit like a like like uh like a roof here you can just keep getting better there's no there is never like a, a limit on on the improvement that you can get in here and that's, that's the best thing you know and at the end of the day it, it's inside us you know you got to keep like looking into yourself and never settle never always wanting more like you need that because mm -hmm. if you're settled you know you're gonna get this far but you're never gonna like sure. the italian has the same passion as brazilian <laughs> the italian has a passion for sport they have a passion for football we have four five stars <laughs> you know Mark, we have five stars which means okay. we, we won okay. five times we're champions we, we, champions. Four, but yeah. we are the best team in the world soccer we talk about soccer we are the best in the world but the passion that the italian have for soccer we talked about before the baggio the piero del piero the piero he have a restaurant restaurant in los angeles guys they make us i know him because they they are the gunna the, 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 the blood they put in <laughs> gattuso <laughs> gattuso <laughs> gattuso <laughs> so these guys are ringo ringo uh, for, we uh, for for a long long time italy and brazil was <coughs> rival inside the, the field because they respect each other because they know I have to work hard to beat these guys. <laughs> it is the mentality that you bring, you have to bring inside the octagon as well. All those guys, when they fight against you, they're going to fight against somebody. They have a, a lot of passion. And uh, as the same way, somebody's going to try put all their love, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, it's different when you put your love inside the octagon. It's different. When you change your life, you came here to United States, you make, you know, you put your life to the side, your family, your brothers, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, today, if you look back six years ago, look where you're at today. Yeah, true. I mean, true. I always say, like, sometimes that's what I tell myself. I'm like, unbreakable will. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't just, you know, whatever happens even in the fight, whatever happens, like, you know, you, you, my, I always say, like, my will cannot be faded. Like, I, whatever happens, I still want it be, be, like as bad as everybody else. Like I want it more than everybody else, you know. And uh, where your mindset come from? Where your inspiration? Where do you like? A, who who is Marvin? Yeah. If you look in the mirror, who is Marvin? Marvin is just like uh, to be honest. You know, growing up, I kind of like. I was never really like. It was hard for me to like. I had like. It's crazy because my friend developed through the years, but as a kid, like I always had friends, but. I was never really part of like uh, like a uh, like a group too much. Like I was part of a group. I, I think looking back is because I was too competitive. Mm -hmm. I would just I would just be too competitive, make a competition out of everything. Like I could never take much of a joke. Like it's still so till now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing so changed. Okay. <laughs> No, now it's much better. Uh, no, Mao is much better. Now yeah, you play. Now, now, now yeah. you know how to play. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. I'm just this kid from like this little town that you know, little little crazy for sure. Like until I was in high school, I was always doing some little crazy stuff. I always loved fighting. You know, I was getting into scuffles and stuff. And uh, I don't know. I wanted more, man. I wanted more. I loved. I loved my my place a lot, but at the same time, I wanted more. And. Uh, and I knew, I just, to be honest, the fight inside is just something that, like, you know, like, I could never, even, even, even at school, like, I could never accept, like, unfairness. If in my, if in my head is not fair, I cannot shut up, you know. I'll have to tell you, I'll have to fight, I'll have to do something to, to make it right. And um, that's it, man. And then I loved it. I loved it. And then... Um, you can imagine going. <coughs> because now you inspire a lot of in the new generation. You super young, not just the new generation, but the old generation as well. We see guys like uh, Vanderlei Silva, the guy that you talk about, uh, became a big fan of you because he can see himself, uh, the courage that you have. Um, he can see himself, on you. and this is awesome. When to have a guy awesome. like Vanderlei <laughs> say that you are become a big inspiration for him is something huge. It is what you make, because if you think about fight, Marvin, the decision that you have to move, change our life. Change our life and maybe change the life of others. Because as soon as you sign with the UFC, 
a lot of Italian sign as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, we know the Fertitas brother, they love you because yeah. as everybody knows, the Fertitas was when the when Marv signed when you signed with FC it was Fertitas back in the I, days. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's still there with good relationship. This is really important. And look where we're at today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Italy has no tradition inside him. No. no. Kickboxing, great. Uh Savati, great. Uh box. Some good Italians there come from boxing. A different sports, yes, but uh, MMA, mm -hmm. especially because in Italy, I think it's not, it's not allowed to do MMA there. No, they are, no. but yeah, there is not much. Um, to be honest, like the no fighting culture, like it's there is, but it's not mainstream. It's not like it's still like, you know, it doesn't get. Sh you, you'll never see like 9 p.m. in the main channel fighting. Like it's always mm -hmm. soccer. Like it's always like uh, mm -hmm. football or like. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. You know, I, I say I say this. It's uh, it's an honor for me to represent the fighting spirit of Italy because we do, man. We're, <laughs> we're warriors, right. but uh, you know, through the years, it's easy to get soft. You know, it's very yeah, easy to be honest soft. with you. Um, I, I know a lot of Italy. I know I have good friends from there. My master, he's Italian, and um, I can tell. The discipline, the, the the fire that you have, <laughs> I know this for a long, long time because all my career I have somebody by my side and uh, he pushed me 100 percent, pushed me like a daddy. And uh, today I'm here today because I have a title in my life. Then like Mike Tyson has Cos da Mato, mm -hmm. I have my master too. It was like a good coincidence as well. And uh, today we are here. I know how far you can go. You know how far you can go. It's just the beginning of something really, really huge. And you're gonna prepare your body, your spirit for that, 100. Yeah. percent I think the way we live our life here, doing what we love with good people around, this is important. But the focus that we put in the fight is really important. We never miss that focus. And, uh, this make you a different kid because you never miss your focus. Yeah, I mean, you know, like ne nothing, nothing really came ever easy for me. So. The moment I went to London, you know, I knew like I was on my own and you got to be responsible and accountable for everything that you do. And even though I didn't know nothing about the city, really, I just knew, you know, like. What is the gym? Shot London Shoot Fighter. London Shoot Fighter. Michael Bisping. Gym, huh? No, Back no. Uh, uh, Mike, Michael Page is there. Michael Page. Michael sorry. Shipman is there. Page. Uh, there's a kid now that is in the UFC. He's called uh, Amir Albazi. Mm -hmm. There's a Pickett, couple kids. Pickett that was from that. No, oh. they were from um, another gym that now doesn't. Uh, it was it was a famous gym, yeah. Bisping, Pickett, and like Rampage was going there two at times, but I don't remember now the name of the gym. Um, well, yeah, Pickett also was American top in them. Uh, American top, yeah, yes. yeah. But yeah, I, it's not that gym. No, it's another gym. But like, um, yeah. So um, London was good back in the days with the Cage got, Rage. Got, Remember Cage Rage? Yeah, yeah, got long, yeah, Anderson. Hey, like, for like, hey, boom. Yeah, with that, with the uh, knock. Yeah, I yeah. went there sometimes, and uh, it was good to see the the way they play. We learn a lot from from the guys from London as well, how to do shows and things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right you because know. like because like London, they love fighting. Like mm -hmm. boxing, they're big. Like mm -hmm. I mean, the next na the next nation after America. For boxing, I think it's 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 England. Like they love boxing. So, for example, now, if you have to change something, what do you change in the past? So, uh, should I do different this thing or not? If you think about the past, what it's you crazy. should do? In, in terms of career, I don't know, man. Like, to be honest, the decision—it's more the right than the wrong that I did for sure. Like, even in London, when I felt that I had to leave. It was this, it was the right move to be honest, and um, when I decided to m move here, it's it's it's, it's uh, it was the right move. Um, I made a lot of mistakes because you know like pi I'm a pioneer. I didn't never like had like you know like you should do this. Like even even my family, I, they did not know they didn't know nothing about this business. You know like mm -hmm. so I had to find out. Like kind of like always have like, a really open mind. Pick like pick a lot of like successful people brain. I remember when I came here, I was asking things to Fabrizio because I wanted to see how he thinks, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. And um, it's not just physical. Exactly. You have to know the man, the way the guy walk. Why he walk this way? Why he yeah. walk that way? So why, why? And uh, you, you're right. 
because here, uh, after six years, I know you. When we finish the training, we always have some questions. It makes difference, Kel. Like Marley, make difference. Today, you and Kelvin, you sparring very, very well, sparring hard, hard, help each other, put techniques as well. In the end of the day, this is what you're looking for. Two lions. And Lyle, just walk with Lyle. It's awesome, man. The, the, the relation that me and Kelvin have is, is something great, man. To be honest, it's awesome. It's awesome to see outside because it's, because it's uh, two young boys, two young lions, but with OG mentality. You guys has an OG mentality. It's really important for our team have that kind of mentality. What is OG mentality for me? Is the face every each problem in life with the same attitude. It's the same attitude. It's not like, oh, this is gonna be, no, 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 this is gonna be, I go through that. I go mm -hmm. through this problem. It does is make us the OGs. People think, oh, OG is the guy that's going to street, he's gonna fight, he's gonna think he's the boss. No, 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 the OG know how to fix their own problem. So this make you and Kelvin, Youngs, Youngs OGs. And you guys represent very well the OG style inside the octagon. Mm -hmm. And uh, which means you always put a great fight there. We're gonna have opportunity to fight for the belt soon. I think all your history was made for this moment. Every, each step that you made in your life, when you move uh, to London, okay, mom, I'm going to London to turn there to, to see what is gonna happen. So one decision changed all life. And uh, Crazy, yeah. yeah, but you have a chance to say, oh, okay, California is really hard to live here. Probably I wanna back to Italy because it's hard to handle. People don't know sometimes you have to make money and fight to keep with that money to pay your bills, to pay oh, your yeah. food, to feed yourself. It's not like I, sp I have a lot of sponsors. The work done, that's oh, all. No. Maybe now we wanna figure something really, really nice but the, because the position then we work for, we gonna have for sure, yeah. but it's not simple. It's not simple. No, no, no. But n n now, no, for yeah. a long time, I was yeah. just like making barely the money to leave. Yeah, for sure. No, it, it's it's true. It's true. Like I said, like, it's, you know, it's, first of all, like you said, like, you know, whenever the problem presents itself, you can never panic and like, oh, like, you know, how am I going to deal with this? No, just, you know, like. Okay, let's let's look at it like a little more rationally. What can I do? What can I what, what can I control? What can I what I, what I, I can't, can't control? You know. And yeah, man, and and then and then with time, with time, you just you just evolve and and and, and improve and like I mean level up. And mm -hmm. I remember when you fought against the, the Russian guy. Mm -hmm. We was draw. I yeah. thought we won was draw, but the evolution that you have after them Marty, was super important for you. The evolution that you have as a fighter, as a person as well. You know how far you can go. We talk all the time in the gym. Okay, we have good fights. We have um, you already broke the record in UFC in our mm -hmm. division with 11 takedowns, which means mm -hmm. something you put your name in the history. Again, the first guy to fight for the belt in Italy. Yes. So records then you're gonna put in <laughs> your book. And we know God is great. Yes, God is great. You can imagine what is gonna happen in the future. Can you imagine what the, the future yeah, I just think it, this is the beginning, man. I just think this is the beginning. And uh, it's crazy, like, you know, like, it. it's, I don't really believe in destiny, you know? I mean, I, maybe there is, like, a conducting line, in a sense, in life, but you always have, you have to do your own at, at 100 to, to make it happen, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's hard to not see what was, what's happening now. It's crazy, because, like, you know, after... After we went to that fight with Israel, and you know it went like it went, we think it w we won, but for sure. But yeah, you know it went like world. exactly. It, but what happened after? You know, for me, went everything wrong, and for him, he went like, mm -hmm. um, you know, everything right, and everything right. Even like you know, like um, I don't remember having him like any kind of like hardship in, in any fight for him because like even like nobody ever pulled out of any of his fights he just mm -hmm. make it right like mm -hmm. clean and smooth all the way to the top we had a lot of bumps a lot a lot a lot of bumps mm -hmm. and even when we came back you remember like how for a year and a half like that mm -hmm. like uh, um that problem with usada that it was a it was, was something crazy 2019 18. yeah 18 i think 18, yeah 18. and we, uh, we were out for we like out, 15 months 15 months crazy so, um, 
and then and even and then even even our way up a lot of bumps like people mm -hmm. pulling out people rescheduling going to london have to play come games, back people play games yes <laughs> but now three years after you know the arena and probably this the same place where we fought the first time we're gonna refight again it's gonna I be didn't know that. Was it the same probably place? probably it's gonna uh, it's gonna be arizona there's just maybe two different arenas but it's gonna be phoenix so Ooh. it's it's <laughs> crazy huh? it's almost like okay you know mm -hmm. like this, we're gonna go back in history we're gonna make it right you know and, uh, and uh, to be honest with you that was a great fight it was a great fight with the fight then okay we have a draw in the beginning of our career inside ufc and then we have that fight with israel was a uh, split decision a lot of people think we, we won no. okay but now we have a chance to do again what are we gonna do we minimize every single mistake that we have we minimize everything every single day we develop our og spirit we are prepared for war. We exactly. never pro we never promise victory, but we promise war. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is the make us who we are. It's not just to say, okay, oh, I hear this voice. No, no, no. We did this for long. We did this for a long, long time. You are five zero now, UFC. You have a great fight coming up. And what do you expect for that? You know, I you know I. I think he's gonna come out and and do him. He doesn't really have that many options. You know, like. I know what he expects from me, and you know, like, what it, what he did. Like, I mean, even if he's in his last few fights, it's pretty much you know, the the patterns that he uses is pretty much the same. Like, he comes out like, you know, he he's, he tried to like play with, with his striking, but you know, we we're gonna be ready for that. We're gonna yeah, be ready for everything. We we always gonna say that we have to. Uh, UFC open a huge door for you, you know, after your hard work there nothing came for free you have to beat a lot of guys to do that position it's really hard today to have five zero inside fc ben has six zero you have five zero giga five zero four zero five zero as well five zero, yeah. it's really hard to keep that i think the motivation then you have you pull you bring ben with you and then ben you bring giga and then like yeah. uh, like we say we're never gonna say okay let's go there we're gonna win but no no we're gonna put a war yeah. in the end of the day do this is what the people look for and this is what the people can expect from us i'm glad to have you guys as student i mean i say all the time like start with vanderlei shogun anderson you guys are the new generation of this these guys so today nice. i have a pleasure to see in your eyes the same thing yeah. that i saw in in, in a shogun when shogun was the king and and uh, pride and you can imagine what the future holds for you because Crazy. now you're just 27 27 years old my lord <laughs> 27 years old <coughs> going for one of the best moments f in your career fight against the champ israel the guy then we respect we respect all fighters then we fight but this one is going to be a different one we will well, it's going to be different why <coughs> because the emotion is going to be different the experience is going to be different. You have a much more experience now. You know yourself much more, and you develop your spirit. Exactly. No, for sure. Exa like you said, we we leveled up. We leveled up. I think way more than he did in in in, in these last three years. You know, and um, we. I mean, I I can read him way better. You know, with like I always say, back then I was just a kid with with balls and like a lot of will. But we had to still develop a lot of things. Now it's a whole different story, you know. Yeah, it's nice to see our the, spirit just yeah. ate true. Like I would fight, like man, like there's nobody that's gonna stop me, man. You and, just uh, yeah, we we talk all the time. The best thing to develop our techniques is fighting against good fighters. People they step inside the octagon to fight because they know when you guys step inside the octagon, you guys you always gonna fight, and then that this make you guys break a lot of records with the bonus of the night things like that not just because people want to see your beautiful face <laughs> no because they want to see the way we fight mm -hmm. and, uh, makes different the world that you have today fighting like a champ make a lot of difference you fight like a champ before you fight for the belt yeah it's not just okay now i have to fight this way no no we fight this way for a long long time what you bring what you always gonna bring for inside the octagon as something then you bring all the time inside the gym it just make me feel happy because we know we're gonna see a great fight there. Yeah. No, I mean it's 
and 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 this comes from you, master. I and mean, like it's like it's yeah. it's what you bring here all the every day. You know, we, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's really hard to explain in a way, but it, it's it's crazy. Like you you can uh, transfer that this to us and um, and everybody that really puts in the work because at the end of the day, in life in general, you have to do your own. Like it, yes. you you can't yes. do. You can't do yes. it for us. It's impossible. You have a jeweler but then help you with the boxing. Oh Julian yeah, yeah. doing a very good job. We no, have to talk about jeweler. Yeah, he's he's gonna be good. He's good. Like I think he's gonna go down as a very good coach. Mm. And he's super young, but mm. he's really good. Have experience with boxers or yeah. champs or champs as well. Yeah, and then we have about rouse. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we, 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 go. we we have a squad. It didn't have been a you. It didn't have, <laughs> it didn't have we're, Fabrice, we're, my lord. Man. And then Marcus, we have and to Marcus, say. Marcus, what a great, people say, yeah, my, well, look what has happened. You came here, United States, as a, a good grappling. I like, like uh, <laughs> the beginning, you should be with Philippe. Like, <laughs> <and then, laughs> become a great striker. Become a great striker. Develop your techniques every single day. The way you see the life, Marvin, is the way the the new generation have to see. We have to, we can have the fear to move forward in our decisions. Uh, sometimes we have just one more step to reach our goal, and then we give up, and then we have to reset everything and start everything again. Uh, if you are in the position now in the world, and uh, you're gonna fight for the belt, you put your name there. But that's the way you keep developing your techniques. You're going to be a better fight after this fight. Better fighter after this fight, 100%. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, even this journey, like, nothing came easy. But at the end of the day, like, even the mistake, I'm glad for it in a sense. You know, like, they built me. I, I, I swear, like, when I used to think about how those two years that I was in London, I used to kind of feel sorry for myself, you know, because I sometimes I could, I could kind of, like, see – some guys walking into the gym and I could see them my I could see myself because imagine like the first five four or five months back there right I basically I was just doing I was showing up at normal classes and just like a normal guy <laughs> just like doing my and then eventually they saw this guy's here all day oh long <laughs> with my women making frame with the pros you know and uh, and then eventually they did and I got I kind of got some recognition from from the coaches too, but at the beginning, just one more. No, nobody. Yeah. I would just work in training, go home, work in training, and then eventually, you know, and um, and to move around there with, with like I always say, like it sounds silly, but like to get the buses and the metros, and I didn't know nothing about it. I, sometimes I would spend my life waiting for buses, man. <laughs> like sometimes it's two, three hours here, <laughs> waiting on the bus, but you know, like. It made me what I am today. Yes, it built me, man. It. And, and you, to be honest with you, I'll thanks, Lord. We have this in your life. We yeah. Have this in your yes, life. yes. 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 You know, you can be soft. If not, then you have become soft. Exactly. Everything. Everything can be easy. You have to feel comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Exactly. And I'm not sorry no more. You know, I'm. I'm definitely not sorry no more. Like you know, I I leveled up again. I'm like, yeah. man, you can't. You, Th there is nothing more useless than feeling sorry for yourself. There is true. Nothing true. more yeah, useless. It's true. I agree with you, Mark. I agree with you. So Look at where we live. We live in California. We work with the, one of the best shows in the world, if not the best shows in the world. You know, you want to fight for the belt. We represent your country. So you are health. You can come in the gym. You can. You have your own food. So you can... <laughs> So you're blessed. Yes, you're yes, blessed. Yes. So uh, we are. We have to know. Sometimes people don't know the gift that God gave to us. You know, we have to use the gift. You use. You know how to use your gift, and I can tell. You use very well. You use very well. If you talk about future, what expect for the future? Who is gonna be Marvin after this fight? Who is who is gonna be? It's first of all, it's gonna be the first, and you know, like it's crazy because I said it from like almost like. A year in in fight in in training MMA and fighting MMA, I said like I'll be the first Italian UFC champion. Yeah. So, eleven years after, I'll be that guy. You know, oh, so that's crazy. First, and then, you know, I'll set new goals. I'll you know I don't think anybody can. Be, I want to beat whoever is in the top five, and whoever I didn't beat already. I'm, I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna be a hard uh, champ to please in terms of opponents. You know.
So now we uh, fight against anyone. We still yeah, do nothing changed. Do same thing. Same thing. <laughs> we have about two, maybe two or three fights, and then the guys pull off, pull out, like uh, hours. Some guys, week before, and we okay. We fight against anyone. We fight against. We have to set your goals. So we can. Okay, I f I, I want to fight for the belt, but I have to fight against that guy. No, no, no. If you want to be a champ, you have to fight against anyone. Sure. You guys, thanks Lord, you guys prepare to fight against no one. You guys have to. In FC, I think they have 600 fighters there. And uh, it's a pleasure being the best, be between the best fighters in the world. Stay there, look at, belong, you belong that place. You belong that place, you know your place there. Mm -hmm. And all fighters, they have to know their place. Because sometimes people fight just for fun. I remember when you came here, you say, I want to be a champ. I remember all, all your words. You say, mark my words. I want to be a champ. But people start training without goals. How can we establish just when we start work? Okay, I want to start working, and then from there, I want to establish my goals. No. You have to establish your goals first and then work for it. How can you work for No, no, no. This, this is mindset. You came here, I want to be a champ. Like you say, 11 years ago, I want to be the first one. You know, you are on one step to be UFC champ. You work hard, it's a, see you in a mat work with those guys, for me is our pleasure, it's my, it's my pleasure to see. I have pleasure to have a, be a matchmaker inside the gym, <laughs> you with you, now you with you. Because I know in the end of the day, this guy gonna push yourself 100%. And I believe Marvin, I believe you're gonna be the star of this company. You're gonna put your future in different levels then you can imagine. You can imagine something nice, but uh, I think what if the future holds for you something. All effort that you have in the past to move away from your family, to move to be here, God will provide for you. 100%. He's already provide for you, and uh, He want to keep providing. Yeah, sometimes we have to have things like that in our life to move forward. For me, I moved to Brazil. I'm here. True. I with my gym, just me and my wife. Like say, we brought this. Maybe we brought, but uh, we, I know how to shake with my fighters, bring what my master mm -hmm. brought to me. And then what I have to do, this is what I try to do with you guys. And uh, I I'm, I'm feel like a successful professor because I can see myself in you guys. So yes. when you guys step inside the octagon, I can see myself fighting, I can see myself to punch in the face, hey, it's me. When you, when you cry, I'm crying, when you smile, I'm smiling. It is what we do. It, it, when you have a feeling like that, Marvin, Oh Lord, it's normal. It's no more like a team. It become a family, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you fight for the family. So true. Yeah, you're right. The, that that connection, I, we can feel it too. It's 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 crazy. So it's a pleasure, master. I, I'm I'm so grateful. I I, I found this place. I want to uh, show all my respect for Italian fans. I appreciate all support. I post your picture. In, uh, I post your picture in my Instagram, and I put something in Italian. Man, People come crazy. <laughs> For sure, a hero now. No more Berlusconi. Now it's Vettori. <laughs> Thank you, Master Rafael, for having me here. And yeah, man, let's go get this title. Let's go, Master. Hey! We gotta do it. June 12th, we're going to have Marvin Vettori represent our flag one more time. And for sure, he's going to put our flag in the top of the mountain, like he did all the time. I'm excited for the next fight. I'm excited for the future. And I believe we have... The new UFC champion in the house. And Make, new. Hey. <laughs> one more. We're going to bring one over more. there. Hey, man. We're going to have one more belt in the wall. And uh, this is what we do over here. I appreciate, guys, your time. I appreciate for watch. It was a pleasure to have my boy here, Marvin Vettori. This is OG Talk Podcast. So subscribe to see what's happening inside the martial arts all over the world. This is what we do. The OG Talk Podcast. Hey. Hey.